Welcome to Leaf Nautical Sailing Academy. I'm Paul Murray and today I'm going to take you through estimated position. Let's take a look at how we plot an estimated position on our chart. The first thing we need to do is to mark our start position. In this example, we're just at the entrance of Bramhope Bay. In position, 46 degrees, 23 minutes, decimal 40 north, and 6 degrees, 13 minutes, decimal 40 west. We mark this with our symbol for a fix, a dot and a circle. From our start position, we now need to mark the distance and the direction in which we have travelled. In this example, the direction in which we have travelled was 293 degrees true. And the distance which we have travelled is 5 nautical miles. On our chart, we draw in the water track. The water track is the distance which we have travelled and the direction in which we were travelling. We mark the water track with a single arrow. This is the symbol that we use on our charts to show a water track. From the end of our water track, we now want to add our tidal stream. This is the set and rate of the tide for the period in which we have been sailing. In this example, the set of the tide was 353 degrees true, and the rate of the tide was 1.6 knots, so that in one hour we will have travelled 1.6 nautical miles. We now mark our chart with the symbol for an estimated position. We put a dot and a triangle at the end of our tide line. This is the chart symbol we use for an estimated position. We can now look up the latitude and longitude of our position. Using a plotter or a pair of dividers, we can now read off our latitude and longitude. Our latitude is 46 degrees, 23 minutes, decimal 90 north. Our longitude is 006 degrees, 20 minutes, decimal 30 west. So this is how we do an estimated position. I'm Paul Murray from Leaf Nautical Sailing Academy. We hope that you have enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.